Okay. Uh, uh, in this afternoon, uh, we will talk about uh, the big data and uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, because uh, it is a little bit professional, so I, I don't want to do more details about this. I just want to uh, give you uh, the concept of this uh, to technology. Okay. So at the first, uh, we uh, give an uh, introduction to big data. Okay. Okay. Uh, in our case, uh, we have more and more sensors, as I uh, mentioned in the, the morning. And, uh, we have more and more sensors, and uh, the sensors are more and more cheaper. So we have a lot of uh, data from the sensors. Okay. And, uh, also, uh, we have internet, we have cell phone, uh, we have WeChat, something like this. So, we, we, in our case, we have a tremendous, tremendous uh, data around us. So, how to uh, exploit this big data? How to uh, effectively deal with this big data? So, there's uh, more concern uh, <coughs> by all the world. Okay. So, uh, what's a big data? Uh, actually, there is not a very uh, 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 authorized uh, uh, definition for big data. This is the I picked up from the Wikipedia uh, definition of the big data. Big data uh, is a term of uh, for a connection data set so large that complex that it becomes difficult. Difficult to, to process it. Uh, you know, on hand, they will management choose or traditional traditional data processing applications. So, uh, in other words, uh, traditional methods, traditional uh, data choose cannot uh, manage uh, this tremendous data effect. So, we need new methods or new uh, algorithms to give it this kind of a big data. Uh, okay. So, it also, uh, the challenges for big data is so capture, storage, research, sharing, uh, transfer, and visualization of the big data. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
for example, uh, uh, we use uh, Facebook every day. So every day we, we generate 25 GB data. And uh, we use uh, Twitch to uh, generate 12 GB every day. And uh, we have uh, 46 billion cameras, phones one hour. And uh, okay, uh, what's up? 100 million of GPS you know, the sensors like this. And uh, 2 billion people on the web, and 2011. So every day we generate the tremendous data. Okay, this is a, a large uh, physical equipment called Large Hydrogen uh, Collider, generates 15 uh, GB a year. That is another uh, physical equipment called the Versicle. It uh, generates 6 to 7 TB data a year. Uh, and uh, another feature of the big data is uh, variety. Variety means uh, it has a lot of uh, different types of data. For example, uh, relational data means uh, uh, the, data, the data in the databases of the field, of the table, uh, some data, uh, such data is called relational data. And uh, also we have text data. For example, with the, the web pages, it is a text data, and uh, self-structured data, XML, XML, so like it's called uh, semi-structured data, and the graph data means a uh, certain network, a certain network. Uh, and also we have streaming data, means, uh, for example, Twitter, WeChat, YouTube, uh, something like this. It is generate the streaming data. Uh, so, means uh, big data have very, a lot of different types of the, the format. So, it is called, uh, it is uh, difficult to, to, to deal with this. And uh, the third uh, feature of the big data is the velocity. Uh, velocity means uh, data is became generally fast and need to be processed fast. So uh, means, uh, for example, the uh, data, the the YouTube, the the WeChat uh, generates uh, the data very fast. So what have you, we want to use this? kind of data. We have to process this data also very fast. So uh, otherwise we cannot exploit this kind of data. So if later decisions we will cause missing opportunities. So the third uh, the feature of the big data Okay. Uh, this is a, a lot of uh, uh, examples of, about uh, uh, real-time and fast data. For example, the Flickr, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, this kind of uh, social media networks generated uh, um, what we call streaming data. And uh, the scientific instruments, called, uh, I have mentioned before, uh, collect all kinds of data, uh, okay. all these uh, equipment generate the real-time and fast data 
and the weight with cell phones and the sensors generates the stream data. Also, we also call the view and process data. So, uh, this data is very helpful to us. So, for example, uh, we can know, uh, we can, uh, based on this data, uh, we can, it can provide the productive recommendations to us. And uh, also can learn why customers switch to competitors. This is very useful for the corporations. And uh, <clears throat> also, it preventing fraud as it is uh, occurring or preventing more proactively. So it is uh, very useful for the bank. The bank. Okay. So the this kind of data is very useful. Okay. So. Uh, We have uh, actually we we, uh, we have three uh, types of, uh, of uh, methods to to manage the uh, big data. One is OLTP. This is uh, about uh, twenty years ago we called OLTP, online transaction processing. Uh, it is uh, uh, really used for DBMS. We uh, create relational relational databases. And uh, just uh, for transaction processing, okay, this method. And uh, about uh, 15 years ago, uh, it is online analytical processing. Okay. Okay. So it is uh, more helpful to get the knowledge from the data. It is called OIP. And now we call it the RTAP. It is a real-time analytics uh, processing. So can this kind of a method can uh, deal with the streaming data, the fast generated data, like a USB, uh, Flickr, or a VHR, something like this. So it is more, uh, it is <coughs> more advanced uh, method to deal with the big data. So, uh, why? Uh, so why we 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 have to deal with this big data? So uh, there are some uh, reasons. Because, uh, for example, we, we have very large databases, uh, and uh, all a lot of data is real time, and uh, we have a lot of the different types of data, something like this, and uh, we need more accurate. Uh, Curing, for example, ad hoc curing, data mining technology, and extracted data type, uh, typical sources sometimes. So driving us, driving us to, uh, to explore big data. Yeah. So as I as mentioned before. Uh, in the 1990s, we used OLP and data warehouse to manage it. It is the 1990s. And uh, 2000, uh, we use uh, uh, interactive, interactive uh, business intelligence and in memory RDBMS to to, uh, to manage the databases. And now we use uh, uh, more advanced uh, processing. Bench processing and a distributed, distributed data stuff to to manage the to deal with the big data is uh, uh, in 2010. So uh, as for the big uh, uh, data analytics, big data is more real time in nature than traditional. Uh, Data warehouse data. Traditional data, uh, data 
of a house are adding architectures are not very well suited for brick table. Uh, because uh, the traditional day poor house it is 1990s technologies. Okay, so it cannot uh, uh, manage uh, so large, tremendous, uh, effective. So and uh, and uh, also uh, we a lot of uh, and also we use a uh, parallel processing to uh, improve the processing uh, effectively, the data effectively. This is a. Uh, Related to the big data. For example, the apps, this is all the apps, the, all these apps are related to the uh, big data. And uh, this is a uh, big data infrastructure, so like the, the MySQL Oracle, IBM, it is a uh, uh, provides the infrastructure uh, for the big data application. And also, we, 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 we talk a little bit about uh, cloud computing. Okay. Uh, because the infrastructure of the big data is always cloud computing. Uh, cloud computing uh, uh, is a little, uh, I can give an example. For example, uh, if you have, uh, you want to power, like electricity power. You don't have to, to build uh, your your own power station or power plant. You just uh, uh, connect to the socket and you can get the power uh, immediately. So, and, uh, sim similarly, uh, you don't have, if you want uh, the power of, uh, of uh, computing, the power of computing, you don't have to buy a lot of uh, in the super computing uh, machines, you don't have to do that. You just uh, connect it to the uh, you know, cloud computing software or platform, and you can get the, the power of the computing. This is the, uh, the, 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 the source of the cloud computing. So, uh, cloud computing uh, is provided the service as a uh, provided the IT without as a service like uh, the computer, storage, like email, is kind of a uh, cloud computing. The devices and the users. And uh, also, uh, as a leverage the economics of the scale of commodity hardware. So it is a low cost, it is a low cost uh, uh, technology. It cheap storage, high bandwidth, something like this. And also, uh, geographically distributed data also. And uh, now Microsoft, uh, Amazon, Google provide a uh, cloud computing. This is a uh, framework of the cloud computing. This is a, the infrastructure level. Storage, 
uh, computing machines and a network. This is an infrastructure of platform. And this is a, a, a platform of services like the object storage identified, a runtime queue or this is a, a software, software of the platform. And a, a, before this uh, uh, level is application level, then as a, a communication application, action, uh, finance, monitoring some uh, applications uh, based on this platform and the platform based on the infrastructure. So the benefits of this cost the, the cloud computing is a, uh, uh, is a consists of cost and management and uh, reduce time to develop. So you don't need to, to, to buy or, or, or set up or deploy your uh, computing environment. You just uh, connect it to the, to the Wi-Fi or to the internet and you can get the, uh, the services provided by the cloud computing system. So there are about three types. Sometimes the three types of uh, uh, cloud computing. Uh, one is a uh, public computing, means the building infrastructure is hosted at the uh, various uh, uh, premises. And the public cloud. Public cloud means a uh, computing application is uh, dedicated to the customer and is not shared with other uh, organizations. In public uh, cloud, uh, you should uh, Share with other, share your results with, with other people. And the problem is you just uh, uh, sometimes a uh, uh, big uh, like uh, big uh, corporation they use the private cloud, and the government uh, often uses the public cloud. Okay. And uh, another kind of uh, type of cloud is uh, hybrid. Okay. Uh, some organizations uh, host some critical security applications. Uh, they do not uh, so critical applications are hosted in the public cloud. So this is a, uh, a sort of hybrid cloud. Uh, okay. And other of cloud computing based on service project. It is a IAS, means infrastructure as a service. Means a, it is offering hard, a hardware related service using the principle of the cloud computing. And also is a PAS, platform as a service, offering the development platform on the cloud. And the third is a SAS, software as a service. Uh, including a complete software offering on the cloud. Users can access the software application hosted by the cloud. Okay. The different types of IS, PAS, SAS, the three types of the cloud computing mode. This is just more details. I just give a very uh, brief introduction for the big data. Yes. Yeah. In depth and uh, presentation, you mentioned uh, the ground device. What are ground device used for that is such an amount, big, big amount of data? So, what do you measure in ground device? Right. The that list, the last. This? Yeah. Okay. We 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 now in in uh this area this area uh 
and uh, maybe two thousand twenty we and uh, I don't know when we can get that <laughs> going to this island. So it, I know it doesn't just get uh progress or accessible. Just now, I have to give a, a brief introduction of the uh, data, and, uh, uh, and now we focus on the okay, culture we, we can get. Uh, at first, uh, it is a uh, no sensing data. Uh, I mentioned uh, uh, in the morning, we have a lot of uh, uh, satellites, images like uh, Google, Earth, or China or Europe, this kind of thing, they look at it, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. The, the, uh, the basic piece of uh, the remote sensing, they were introduction. Uh, the basic sense of remote sensing with satellites and aircraft are similar to uh, visual observations. Uh, energy in them, energy. Uh, in the form of light, which travels from sun to earth, from sun to earth, and the light waves are travel similarly to waves traveling across to a lake. Uh, okay. The distance from the peak of the one wave to the peak of the next wave is uh, the wavelength. The wavelength. Okay. Uh, in energy from sunlight is called the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. This is a uh, uh, the Electromagnetic spectrum. This is a different. Uh, this is from uh, four hundred nanometers to uh, seven hundred nanometers. Okay. This is a uh, uh, infrared. About uh, seven hundred uh, nanometers is a infrared. The uh, infrared uh, wavelength okay. and. Uh, From here to uh, from here to uh, here, from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers, we can not the human can see this can see this uh, this wavelength. So, so uh, different uh, uh, crop reflects and absorb uh, the different times. Uh, different times of a crop may absorb different uh, different. Uh, uh, we have different feature of uh, absorbing or uh, reflecting the wavelengths. For example, it is uh, the, the green one, the green is the healthy sugar beets, and uh, the, the red one is stressed sugar beets. Okay. So we can see from uh, 400 nanometers to uh, about uh, 700 nanometers, the spectrum is not very is, is with big difference. So based on this difference, we can to to justify uh, whether the sugar beans is uh, healthy or unhealthy. So it's the, the basic concept of this.
this is sunlight, this is a satellite, this is a, the, the, the crop reflect and absorb the uh, electrical magnetic uh, and, uh, uh, the signal are absorbed by the satellites and uh, the transmitter signal to our uh, the ground. This is the, uh, the remote sensing process. So with the uh, uh, remote sense uh, image, we can justify whether the crop is healthy or unhealthy. Actually, we have a different type of uh, remote sensing devices. Uh, first is a satellite. Uh, satellite. It's about uh, five meters resolution. Five meters resolution means uh, five meters uh, multiplied five meters. Uh, it is uh, a point of uh, image. Uh, the timing can be limited, but more options are becoming available. This is a, a satellite, a satellite, and a, a flight, flight, okay. about a one meter, one meter resolution. It is a one meter multiplied one meter, one square meters uh, is a point. Okay. So it is a more better resolution. And other is unmanned UAV, UAV, uh, unmanned aerial systems, sometimes in UAV. Uh, it is a three to three to ten centimeters resolution. And it is so very high resolution. Okay. Uh, if the weather permits, scheduling can be uh, within a few hours. This is your We have four in our lab. This is a, a census uh, near infrared census. Okay. This is uh, uh, your way about uh, uh, see, about uh, uh, seven thousand six or seven thousand dollars. This is produced by a Chinese corporation called Dajiao. And uh, this census is uh, about uh, $6,000. This is a census. We use the remote sense data we can deal with the public uh, insurance and uh, management in the morning uh, like this. Uh, this picture is uh, this uh, this is the, the yellow one indicates uh, uh, this land is uh, uh, rain and the yellow one is this land is uh, wheat. Okay. So with this big, this image, we can we can know how many acres of rice uh, of wheat and how many acres uh, of the uh, wheat in in Yijun County. Jiangsu province in China. Okay. And also, this is the one source of uh, big data of the, the culture. And also, we have uh, the web data. Okay. Because uh, in the internet, 
In the internet, we have a lot of uh, humanities of web pages related to uh, to uh, agriculture. But how to get this information and how to exploit this information is a, is a huge problem. So uh, this is a, a, a okay. This is a, a example. If we put if we put the the keyword, they go to the Google, we can get uh, this, uh, this uh, result. But you, we can see that all these uh, results have nothing to do with the uh, uh, culture. So how to, how to extract, how to extract uh, the uh, information related to the agriculture uh, and, uh, and then exploit this information is very important. So we, we Actually, we uh, developed a search engine, vertical search engine for the agriculture uh, to uh, solve this problem. Okay. So for the, uh, in, uh, because for the Chinese uh, farmers, they, they, uh, they are lack of education and English skills, difficult for them to capture uh, the useful information from the web, such as the prices, uh, and supply demand information of agro products. So they need more intelligent uh, technology to search the information from the, the web and uh, tell them the price, uh, the supply the demand, the, the technologies of the uh, agriculture or the farm product information to the uh, interaction. So. This is a, 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 a web page. This is a web page. So what we want to do is to extract, uh, we call the struct data from the, this web page. For example, uh, it is the, the, the name of this product, uh, product, farm product, uh, the, the price of this product, uh, the, the market, the place, and the, the time, all these structures. So we should uh, extract automatically. Uh, so this is a, a vertical search engine for the agriculture has to, to address this problem. So, so we developed a search engine to, to extract the structured information from this page. This is the, the results we extract this page uh, from the extract from this the agro product union uh, price market publisher date so uh, this is uh, the processing uh, phrase of this uh, what is the engine for the culture at first uh, we should uh, find it we should find where the agriculture uh, domain resources where uh, in the internet and then we should extract it as I mentioned before we should uh, extract the structured information from the at each page uh, related to agriculture stuff and then we should eliminate uh, abnormal data or uh, inductances because a lot of uh, information in the web page is not real, so we have to to eliminate to, to uh, eliminate some uh, such information, and then we should uh, label this uh, uh, agriculture data. So for example, we should see targeting uh, where so where this information is, and then we index and uh, provide search services for the farmers. This is uh, the framework of the vertical search engine we developed uh, for the uh, agriculture domain. Okay, and now we, we have stored uh, agriculture structured over 
1,100 TB. Okay. And every uh, 30 minutes, we could crawl over 30,000 agricultural websites. In China, uh, it only has uh, uh, about 730, uh, 30,000 30, agricultural websites. So we almost uh, uh, crawl all over the website in China. Okay. And uh, we use a large Get distributed index and the search and search technology. So search time less than 0.5 uh, seconds. Okay. This is the, uh, the supply and the demand chain of the uh, of our farm production. And uh, this is uh, what, uh, this is uh, <coughs> different places. Uh, which product is sells most in this? Uh, in this uh, city, it, it is uh, computed by the, by the software automatically. And it is the uh, the farm product the price distribution in the whole country. Uh, if it is a red label, label means uh, the farm product in this city is relatively high and. Uh, if it is a green level, it means in this city it is relatively lower in, in the whole country. And it also, we can find which product from the uh, web page. Uh, we can extract which farm product is uh, difficult to sell in the whole country. It is all uh, processed automatically every day. And also, uh, uh, we use the web information to forecasting per flu epidemic outbreaks in the web big web data. Okay. Uh, okay. For example, uh, if, if a place of uh, flu, uh, a bird flu epidemic uh, breaks, uh, the, the farmers uh, they usually to go to Taobao or uh, website to buy some uh, uh, medicine for the for the chicken or cattle like this. So we analyze the sales uh, index. Taobao or the search and the search index for the Google or the Baidu. Okay. Based on this information, we can uh, just whether there are the severe outbreaks, uh, the epidemic outbreak, uh, epidemic outbreaks in this place. How severe it is. This is a, 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 the framework of this uh, bird flow algorithms predictor. This is a web page. And also, uh, for the agriculture, uh, we, we have soil data. Soil is very important to the, uh, to the agriculture, so uh, we have a lot of uh, soil data. For example, the soil fertility uh, is organic matter, nitrogen, phosphorphy, uh, 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 potassium, something like this, micro and uh, elements. Okay. And also the site. Soil type, soil type, different type of soil, seed, sand, clay, uh, okay. and uh, <coughs> land form, hill, or plain, or flat, something like this. All kinds of this kind of soil data. Okay. And also, uh, we have the weather data. 
weather means we over we have over three thousand weather station history data all over the China. All over the China. This the rainfall data, temperature data, our community temperature data. This is very uh, important to uh, to find. So with this, so with this data, with the, the, the weather data, the remote data, and the ground census data, the, uh, we can use this, all this data to uh, predict uh, or to uh, provide clues of the insights and recommendation of this uh, crop. So like this. Like this. This is an example. Example uh, based on the, the, the soil information, we can see uh, we can see uh, there's a shot of nitrogen at this stage. Okay. So if the farmers know uh, how much nitrogen is nitrogen is uh, soil, if we, if it is a shot of uh, nitrogen. Of, uh, in this in this soil, have to apply more uh, nitrogen to the farm. Also, uh, uh, actually, uh, a lot of uh, corporations like uh, uh, Monsanto or something like the, they provide uh, the services based on this big data, soil data, weather data, and uh, satellite data to the to, uh, farmers, and like this. This is a nitrogen. Crop grows like this. The green one means the, the crop is here is the and the red one means the is not the and so uh, the farmers can go there to see why it, it is not good. I have a question. Is that kind of data, weather data, so data easily available? in the web for someone that wants to start uh, growing something? Uh, uh, actually, uh, not all the data is free for, 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 for download, you know, because all, uh, some data is very, uh, is, uh, uh, to, to acquire data is cost high, so they don't want to uh, share this data. But uh, I think uh, is weather data. Yeah, weather data is, is a free. It, it is a free. Okay, weather data is free, and uh, so I did sometimes. Uh, some types of soil data uh, is free, and uh, at the different uh, uh, at the different uh, resolutions. Uh, so, I, but uh, another, for example, soil fertility is not free. It's not free. It's a uh, uh, it's a very important. So and it is very important to the farmers. So it is not very. It is not very. So I try. Maybe it, it, it is different. Uh, different country. Different countries have different uh, situations. So uh, in China, uh, soil type is uh, is uh, almost the uh, and uh, so fertility is it's not great. I don't know whether in uh, in Costa Rica I don't know the other situation. And uh, the web data, uh, I can say, uh, we, yeah, we, we developed the search, uh, the search engine uh, for the Chinese farmers. Okay, this is called so okay. uh, It is the survey, services is, is free, but the data uh, is not, uh, uh, not, not free for, for sharing. For sharing. And the uh, remote sensing data, 
The most sensitive is hard to, to say because of very high resolution uh, uh, image, uh, image data, uh, satellite image data is, is not free. It's not free. And uh, actually, it is, uh, the, the, it is very expensive. Very expensive. Okay. So, uh, but uh, some uh, uh, low resolution uh, satellite images is free. NASA, uh, Chinese government, and uh, something like that. There's a lot of, but the, the, re the resolution is uh, low, uh, about uh, 30 meters uh, resolution, or uh, 10 meters, something like that. Okay. okay. Uh, it's time to Mr. Xie, it's time to cooperate. Because you got all the parts of the record of the system.
Okay, uh, uh, sorry, the coffee break is three o'clock, so uh, next uh, we, uh, have, I want to give a talk about uh, this AI, the very uh, brief introduction of AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, maybe what is AI? What is AI? Uh, AI is a uh, uh, field concerned uh, intelligent behavior, machines, humans, animals, because uh, why human can recognize it is a, uh, it's a cat, it is a cattle, it is a, not a, a, a tiger, so, so why uh, humans uh, have this ability to? Uh, so whether the machine can have this uh, the same ability, it is a uh, concern about you know, humans, animals, machines, and things. And also uh, other attempts at uh, naming this field included uh, uh, machine intelligence, complex information processing, heuristic you know, programming. This is a, a little bit uh, a little bit uh, similar uh, with uh, the AI thing. Concept thing. So. Uh, uh, you can imagine, uh, for example, uh, you uh, you can imagine uh, intelligent agent means uh, agent means uh, uh, like a robot. You can uh, imagine as a robot. Uh, if an intelligent robot living on in your home and the computer manage your email, coordinate your work and the social activities. And uh, have plans for your vacations, I uh, even watch your house. So, this is the image of uh, we think it is uh, the AI. Yes. Next, uh, we, we talk about the main goal of AI. Uh, first, uh, represent and uh, store knowledge. So, this is a very uh, important for for AI. So, uh, you have to represent means uh, describe the knowledge. For example, the uh, agriculture expert expert know how many uh, how much fertilization uh, apply to this land, but uh, how to to uh, represent the knowledge in the head of the, the uh, record expert, how to store this knowledge. So it's a very important thing. Okay. And then retrain and uh, reason about the knowledge. Okay. So, so it means acquire the gap the, 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 the knowledge you need and uh, reason different from the different uh, knowledge get the, the result you want. Okay. And the third is the behavior. Behavior is talented in complex environments. Develop interest in and use for applications. In act and the last in act the people, agents and the, the environment. This is the, the main goal of AI. Uh, actually uh, the AI I don't think tendons are uh, related to a lot of uh, disciplines, for example, mathematics, uh, computer science, philosophy, uh, biology, and linguistics, cognitive science, technological, and uh, uh, economics. So, so AI is uh, interdisciplinary. Hmm. For example, uh, uh, for the engineering, uh, it is to get the machines to do a wide variety of things. For example, uh, to understand uh, spoken natural language, recognize individual people. This is uh, for the engineering. And for the uh, cognitive science, AI is a way to understand how natural, natural minds and the mental phenomena work. So, 
they, they, they concerned about how, for example, how, why the people, we, we have the brains to, we can think, uh, why we can, why we can uh, recognize the face of different people. Okay. This is the cognitive, cognitive uh, science are concerned about. Okay. And then the next uh, philosophy, a way to explore some basic and interesting uh, questions. So, maybe we can ask, can machines think? If so, how? If not, why not? Uh, and if we can make machines think, shall we? This is a, a question. So, AI is trying to answer this uh, simple question. Uh, and next, we will talk about the, the brief history of uh, AI. Actually, uh, in uh, 1956, it is the year of the birth of the AI. But the two people uh, put forward the concept of artificial intelligence in 1956. Okay, the, the two scientists, the one uh, is in MIT and another is in Stanford. Uh, it is uh, 1956. And uh, 1958, uh, this uh, language is developed. Uh, this language is a very uh, important uh, in the history of AI. It is a, it is a, a AI programming language. This, okay. and uh, in nineteen sixty-eight, the first expert system, expert system of world was developed for the medicine. So it is the first, uh, uh, the first expert system. And uh, in 1991, AI military system is used effectively in desert storm. So this is a, a brief history of the uh, yeah. This is a uh, means uh, this is Marvin Minsky and John Mackenzie. These two people proposed uh, the concept of AI. Okay. This is very famous uh, scientist in AI domain. Okay. Uh, so uh, we we'll maybe ask how to uh, know how to know machine thinking. So it is hard to uh, to to answer this question. So. Thirdly, uh, the very famous uh, uh, computer scientist in the history, okay. uh, he proposed a, a simple, uh, very simple, but very important way to uh, know uh, to know machines whether machine is thinking. So this is the way we, we call it the Turing test. Okay. Yeah, like this. Uh, there are five steps. First, uh, three rules uh, contain a person, a computer, and an uh, inter interrogator. Okay. The interrogator can communicate with the other two by telegrator. Okay. The interrogator tries to determine which is the person and which is the machine. Okay. The machine tries to fool the inter interrogator into believing that it is the person. If the uh, machine succeeds, that we could conclude that machine testing. This is a very famous in the AI, the Turing test. Yeah. Like this image, yeah. This is a, uh, this is a, a people, and this is the AI system. I did the test okay. That's the way we ask a, a lot of questions to people and AI system. Then he judge which is people, which is the AI. Okay. If he cannot judge which is people, which is uh, computers, uh, it can take that the computer can see. So it is a uh, the process. The, the it is the turning test. Okay. 
now I talk about the AI today. I give the uh, some uh, different aspects of the AI. Okay. Uh, it is a, a, a lot of famous uh, organizations of the AI. It is about Berkeley, uh, Samuel, and Maryland, and uh, Stanford, something like this. So CMU, Stanford, Berkeley, uh, MIT, UIC, Austin. This is uh, the very famous uh, organization of the AI. And also, we would have uh, other corporations. Google, Microsoft, uh, and uh, Facebook, and something like this. They, they are also focused on the artificial intelligence. Okay. Yeah. This, uh, and it, this picture means uh, what can AI system do now? Means what can uh, AI system uh, can do? For example, the uh, computer vision means uh, uh, that is a basic recognition. It is widely widely used in the in the about ten years ago. It is not it is not mature, but in the nowadays it is a very widely used. It is a pro make a progress, make a big progress uh, in this domain. Okay. The computer vision and uh, robotics, autonomous automobile. Hot in our list, and then NLP, we call it natural language processing, which is a uh, speech recognition, like this, NLP, okay. and uh, expert systems, and, for example, medical diagnosis, something like this. And all this uh, planning and sch uh, scheduling, learning, user modeling, games, uh, for example, the AlphaGo. You heard about AlphaGo? Okay, no problem. Uh, the games are the uh, Kasparov, uh, Deep Blue. They don't know what? Yeah. In chess game? Yeah, yeah, chess game. The, 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 the Go, chess, uh, game of Go. Uh, uh, famous uh, uh, Chinese uh, chess program. Yeah. All these uh, uh, are application of AI. Uh, it is the uh, robotics, different types of robotics. I have some videos so we can have a look about this. A lot of videos. And uh, we, we have see uh, uh, agriculture uh, robotics. This is a, a American corporation doing this kind of thing. They're very small. The only, uh, it is called Churchill, Churchill, and uh, it is uh, about 2.5 uh, uh, pound uh, weight. Okay. Turkey 
分别无氧钠便宜的电容式传感器来侦测草的长度是否应该要修剪，除草最大的是传感器来侦测草的长度要修剪，补是否应该要电容式传感器来侦测草的表示，分别无氧便宜的电容式技术长周。You can detect the weeds in, the, uh, in this grassland, and uh, you can recognize it is a weed, so you can uh, come near this uh, weed and uh, cut down, cut down uh, the weed.
bots then dynamics uh, cognition. It is a, a very interesting and uh, we're using our vision system to uh, locate the stairs and place its feet, keep its balance. One of the exciting things about Atlas is it brings together really sophisticated <laughs> mechanical design and engineering with computing, control, software, and perception. So it's really equal parts uh, a machine and a computation applied to that machine. And you couldn't do any of the things we do without that. And that, that computation has a role all the way back in conceptualizing the design, making the parts, simulating it, controlling it, perception, uh, collecting data, really everything. So here's a two-arm manipulation task that's about human race. It's using its vision to locate these boxes as they're placed in front of them. First and obvious extension. You told, you told me as we were watching this earlier that that really takes a lot and you're not quite sure why. Oh, could you put that back on, please? Uh, and then, this is very recent work we're doing on making Atlas run. Uh, there's a lot of dynamics and energetics in uh, the control uh, to make that work. And that work grew out of this, which is a kind of simpler jumping, but still very energetic, lots of dynamic controls, uh, perception.
。我们会用这一图像编一个电脑程序，估算每棵树的果实数量。迈克尔·威廉姆斯是爱达荷州考威尔的果实主人，他期待试一试这个机器人。我对这个实验和这个可以计算水果数量的机器十分兴奋。如果我们提前几个月拿到预售订单，就能卖更好的价钱。有时候价格可以高百分之二十。这是计算水果数量。他的爱达伯特机器人售价会相对低廉。
In short, if you were to walk into a room, a SEMO would happily turn and shake your hand. This would even work in a room of up to 10 different people. A SEMO's unique functionality and strange charm, helped by looking like a little robotic spaceman, keeps it at the forefront of robotic technology. Thank you. Passing over. Okay. Thank you.